There's two type of people that creates a YouTube channel and Agent Smith watches YouTube. They go to Mr. Beast's channel. They dream and fantasize about going viral on social media and then telling their mom F you and then going to get in their own apartment because they make money off of YouTube AdSense, right? Then there's a Neo. A Neo thinks a little bit more realistic. He understands that he could go viral, but he's not going to bank on that. He's going to build a sustainable business where they can sell business uh, products and services and everything from their channel. So I'm going to tell you today why I might not ever be a famous YouTuber in the sense of the word YouTuber. Okay. So you might think that I should be embarrassed at the fact that I have over 30,000 subscribers, but for the life of me, can't consistently get videos over uh, maybe a thousand views, maybe, right? You'd be right about that. <laughs> if this was about two years ago, that is. But right now, I'm not embarrassed anymore, and I'll tell you why. I'll never be a famous YouTuber, no matter what, and no matter how hard I try. And you want to know the reason? The reason is when you look closely at my channel content and topics, it's pretty obvious. Maybe not for some of you guys, so I'll explain anyway. You might go through the same confusion asking yourself, how does uh, this other video using my same topic, title, and similar thumbnail have thousands of views, um, but mine only have a crinkly 10 views, right? I had this strong urge to blame it on race, right? I'm black, right? I'm gonna put a black card, but quickly found out I was wrong when I ran into other channels uh, with black guys in them, right? <laughs> and they had huge subscriber counts, right? And I wanted to blame it on creator favoritism as well, like you might have done that as well, right? Until I started seeing all of these brand new channels, these tiny channels blowing up, they were popping up and going viral. So it couldn't be favoritism either. Then I began to think that this channel might be like shadow banned or cursed or something like that. But I found out I was wrong again because I went viral with the chat GBT event, right? Like I went super viral with that and got hella money and sales and all of that. So it's not favoritism. It's not my race. You know what I'm saying? I'm not cursed. So what is it? So like, how come I can go viral to almost 500K views and then the very next video goes back to under a thousand views? I figured it out and I can bet is at least one of the same reasons you're going through a similar struggle, all right? So three reasons I might not ever be a famous YouTuber uh, might apply to you as well. Number one, I do not play the matchmaking game very well. So what do I mean by that, okay? Well, my content is financial content, financial advice content, and younger dudes that give financial uh, advice content uh, typically do a lot of flashy stuff, right? Like they'll go and rent uh, Airbnbs and take a million pictures, uh, 30 days worth of content, even though they recorded it all in the same day. They'll go and rent out a $300 a day um, or a $1,000 a day, you know, exotic car rental. And then they'll do a million freaking videos and it make it seem like that's their regular driving vehicle. All of that extra stuff. I don't do that stuff. You understand? So I don't play the matchmaking game very well. So I'll have a video topic talking about millions of dollars. The topic and the title will say that. But when you click on it, people are expecting me to be flashy. People are expecting me to just stuff, you know, sit and flaunt money and do all of that. I'm more of a strategic person and I'm more educational. I like to teach people how to do what I do. So I'll show you inside accounts. I'll show you to prove how much we're getting paid, show you the business model, but I'm not going to go and rent some like, you know, Lamborghini, even though I don't drive a Lamborghini. So why would I go and rent one just to make content for people, right? Uh, if I'm not going to get on a yacht today, I'm not going to go intentionally rent a freaking uh, expensive yacht just to do content on guys, right? So that's one of the reasons why I, I'll never be a viral famous YouTuber because my content on this channel. Now, I have other channels. I have a music channel, uh, AJU Music. I have, um, you know, uh, AJU Battles. I have a whole bunch of different YouTube channels for the school as well. And they go viral and stuff because it's a different type of content, but usually financial uh, content, you know, it has to match in order to go viral. You'll see those videos talking about, 
I asked uh, 10 millionaires uh, how they made their money, right? You'll have a guy behind a computer that will do that video and he'll break down how those 10 millionaires made their money, like essay style. It won't go viral. But then you have the guy that actually takes his microphone or his phone, goes to some type of event where there are millionaires and they'll interview them one by one or go to their houses and look at their car collection. Those videos will go viral. Why? Because that content matches the actual title and topic. But me, I am in Panama. I am not going to fly all the way to the U.S. to some of these people's cribs just to do a video on it. Now, if I catch them out here, then, you know, that's where it's at. But right. So I live a real life. I left the United States during the scandemic of 2020, immediately hopped the borders, went to Mexico, stayed there for two and a half or two years. And then now I am in Panama now. So I'm living a real passport life for a lot of these people faking it. I, I've made enough money to be able to sustain a family of five plus multiple pets in a weird country that I don't even speak the language in. So I make a lot of money. I have successful students that's made six figures, maybe even seven figures, some of them. So I, I do this stuff for real. But the way I produce the content, a lot of the times the background isn't going to be fixed up for you guys. I'm sorry. This is not a Beyonce concert. I'm not going to have smoke and mirrors and do all that extra stuff, right? The testimonials speak for themselves. The, uh, you know, my business models speak for themselves. My results speak for themselves. My bank accounts speak for themselves. All of that stuff speaks for themselves. But a lot of people will, you know, fabricate things because they understand that perception is important. And I understand that, right? For the right things. I use YouTube as a channel. OK, channeling YouTube, that's what you're supposed to do. It's supposed to be a channel to your products or services right now. If you don't have a product, if you don't have a service, then I understand that you are your product and you want to monetize through YouTube ads. So in turn, you might need to go viral in order to get your YouTube AdSense up. Right. But if you're a person with legitimate businesses, your job is to use these social media accounts to channel people to your real assets that you control because they can take your YouTube channel down at any time. No matter how viral you are, no matter how much money you make, they can take Mr. Beast channels down. Why do you think he's creating his own products now? Because he needs to, he figures out he needs to own something. No matter how many billions of views he gets, he's on YouTube's platform and he, it just hit him like, oh snap. Like if I really want to be who I am, I got to own something. So he started creating Beast Burger and all of these different things because being a famous YouTuber isn't enough. Think of all of these YouTubers you came on here watching, you know, uh, that were rich at a time. And now you look at them and they're bummy because AdSense money alone doesn't last. Going viral alone with no real business sustainable plan is not good. It's not smart. OK, so this is why I probably never be a famous YouTuber, because I can go viral. I got the formulas. I, like I said, I have other channels. I know how to go viral at will. Right. But the topics, I'm not going to sacrifice the, the lessons for the serious people that are here to actually be educated so that they can, you know, increase their financial status. Right. I'm not going to like like forfeit what I have planned for them. And, and just to tweak a title so that it can go viral with some people that aren't really making money for real. Right. So, you know, there are people in the financial space that are famous and viral. OK, so, you know, Alex Hormozzi and a lot of these other guys. Right. But you can't compare yourself to them. What do I mean by that? First of all, Alex Hormozzi, he was backed by Russell Brunson, uh, people like Myron Golden, they're backed by Russell Brunson. Uh, they go on a million podcasts, which you can do as well, and which I am going to be doing and stuff like that. They, uh, uh, he's, he closed off on a company for what, 30 million or a hundred, something like that, blah, blah, blah. So he has a lot of distribution is, is a lot of affiliates that support him and everything like that. So even though he's in a financial space, of course he can go viral. So this is not an excuse. All of that can be like replicated. Anybody can do that. I can do that. You can do that. Blah, blah, blah. 
what I'm saying is if you haven't took the time to do that, right? And he even talks about it. Like if you ain't done the work, you can't really expect the results that other people have who have done the work get, right? So if you haven't done that, if you haven't built your distribution networks, right? Then you can't expect, especially in certain niches where they're not just by nature viral. Nobody's, oh, I, man, hey, yo, I just shared this video where this dude uh, logged into his Max Bounty account and made some money. Ooh, you know, that's not going to get the same notoriety as a Will Smith slap. It should, but it's not, right? So uh, you have to build your name and brand up, uh, uh, you know, like way more, uh, you know, with way more effort in the finance space than you have to in the entertainment space. And a lot of us in the finance space will mess our brands up trying to blend the two. Even Alex Hermosi has just decided, you know what, forget all that edutainment stuff. I'm just going back to education. If you go look on this channel now, his views has went down. But like he said, he's making a lot more money now because he's just focused and his content is like like it's focused. Is strategic, is targeted, and is educated. So the clients and the people that want to work with him are they're coming there and they're getting edified. And that's what I want for you guys on this channel to be edified, right? If you're ed if you're entertained, all praises to the most high. I'm grateful for that. But I want you to be educated and edified because how the hell are you gonna to want to work with me? Yeah, I can make you laugh, but if you don't know if I can make you money, then you still ain't gonna buy my stuff, whether I get a hundred thousand views or not, right? So this is why I'll probably never be a famous YouTuber.